Hey guys, we are working on a huge set of stairs here on the lake and we just dug it out. We are going to put some foam board in there for cross protection, which kind of meets up with uh, our old, we did this foundation, probably seen the video over here on the, on the pond here, which hooks to Lake Ontario. This is Sandy Pond. So we are putting foam down like that. Then we're gonna put two pieces where biscuit is. Then we're gonna bury that foam and we're going to put a big slab here. It's gonna be like nine by nine. And then we're going to build a set of steps, the big set of steps that goes up to that door. And we gotta do two of these, one in the front and one in the back. So um, I dug out all the topsoil and stuff. We're down to gravel. We're gonna put that in there and then we're gonna bury that. And we're going to do a 10 inch thick mono slab. Um, it's gonna be 10 inches thick around the edge and it's gonna be like six inches in the middle. Have rebar and stuff in it. It'll be frost protected. And that's what we're up to. Stay tuned. There is our foam detail. I'm showing it to you because I'm about to bury it with uh, gravel. And then we're going to tamp it again. We tamped it once underneath it to get it all nice and flat. But it is pitching away this way for uh, any water. It will tend to want to run away. Water is your enemy when it comes to frost. So that's what this is about. Because this house has got frost protection. So we want to do anything we hook to it. We want to kind of duplicate what we did initially so we're right up against the old foam that we put in last year right up against that all right we got our foam all buried guys we buried it with gravel just tamping it up then we're gonna fine tune the height and we're gonna look to for a 10 inch slab here we gotta build it up one more time that's just a rough grade Got the laser set to where we want the slab. Like I said, 10 inches thick. And then that'll put us where we want to be for height. I'm gonna get some more of that gravel and hook it in there. Working on the front steps now. We got her uh, ready to dig down for our foam. We get the tamper down in there, the big tamper. Take all that dirt right there and put back on top of it so that our steps do not move in the winter. You want to put something over that cable? It's only 10 trips. Sure, you 
dump them out of the way. Probably. Gotta get the stuff out of the way. Here comes the mud with the white. Rolling on in. Circle T 315-963-2231 is their number. They're gonna help us out today. We got a little uh six yard pour here. Three and three. We got these little pads that we're pouring over here by Rowan. We're building some big steps on the front and back of this house right here that we did last year. My old buddy Dwight. Not a problem slithering in here with the big truck. Eh? Looking good, buddy. Looking good. Jay said you couldn't make that turn. <laughs> he doesn't know who was driving today, does he? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We gotta pour one out back first. We gotta wheel that one and then we gotta pour this one out front. Circle T, baby, right there. Hey, Ro, there's Uncle Dwight. Uncle Dwight's here, Ro. Your buddy, your buddy Dwight's here. Your buddy Dwight's here. We're gonna fill up the wheelbarrows. That's how we're gonna do it today. He loves you. Uncle Dwight. He loves Uncle Dwight. Hey, right, Bubber. Let's see what we got. Here comes the mud down the shoe. Oh, that looks nice right there, buddy. Oh, that looks so nice. Oh, yeah. Woo-hoo! Oh, hopefully it don't get splattered at all, because... That's too close to his house. We shouldn't get any splatter there. We gotta go all the way around. Way out there. I got a wheel today too. I'm gonna wheel. How about that? All right. Yeah, you're just gonna fill it. Perfect, right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wheel like three bucket loads. Three five gallon pails worth. Oh, that's nice right there. What do we got? We got 10 rebars in there, guys. Ooh, he did, didn't he? Oh, we gotta not do that, I guess. Yeah, I did. I'll get him in there. Well guys, I forgot my tripod because I drove the dump truck today. Clifford, the big red dog, I drove him today to bring all them blocks. So I'm uh, standing in the mud right here. We're gonna be screeding this off here in a little bit. We only need a couple more barrels. Well back here. It's a tough job working here on the pond, but somebody's gotta do it. There's that little bob kitten. Ooh, she's sexy. The working little fool right there. We got these Brentwoods. 
Here comes the mud around the corn. Do the same thing around the, around the corn here. Around the outside, around the outside. Hmm. You got a nice wheelbarrow there. I'd say one more and then we'll uh, screed it off a little bit. Oh, pushing it a little farther, yep. Send it. Hold on, hold on. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, screed it off, dust it. You got room if you want to pull up about three or four feet. Yep, keep coming. Got about a foot. That's good. Oh, yep. Ah, we can work with that. We're all right. We're all front now, guys. We'll fill it right up and then put the bars in. They didn't stay there good. Now we'll screed that around and see what she looks like. I gotta get, I gotta get him on camera. The gopher. Gopher's debut with the boat float. Mm -hmm. The whole world's watching you right now. Don't screw up. The whole world, the YouTube world is watching the gopher. This gets a better teacher than me, honestly. I've gotten better, but I used to be a terrible teacher. No patience. Now I got patience. Older. Yeah, I got older. Yeah. Now people say I'm a good teacher on YouTube. Jay, quit teaching them shit. I got lot to give them a damn raise. Jesus. All seven subscribers are watching. Yeah, all seven subscribers. Make sure all seven of you hit the like button. Oh, damn, that's nice right there. That boy's good. Alright guys, we got a load of blocks here on uh, Clifford, the big red dog. We got uh, 70 blocks. There's 10 in a stack. We got 70. We got a, just loaded them all. Now we got to head to the job, which is about 45 minutes away. And unload all them bad boys. Got my little co-pilot here, Rotor. I'm ready to rip, huh, Bob? Thing has to build air, it beeps at you until it builds air, and then you can take the air out. Sometimes it takes a minute to get it in the gear. I don't know why. The air's got to be up to a certain point. Once it pops in, she pops in. I loaded her down with. Um, limestone yesterday and it did not like it at all I put uh, I guess way too much limestone in this for this suspension in this truck so um, I'm looking to modify the suspension so if you got any ideas I talked to uh, a guy who has a spring shop and he said maybe we would take the airbags which sucks because they're brand new airbags out of it and put um, leaf spring suspension in but he said it won't ride very good but i'll be able to haul more weight because i'd like to be able to haul stone with this thing safely and it was not not a fun trip i white knuckled it the whole way all right row me and row white knuckled it bobby hey row 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 say hi all right guys i gotta get to driving here
you guys. We're building our stairs here on this beautiful house today. This is how we're doing it out of chimney blocks. We laid our first course out. Step back, of course. Step back, of course. Or down, of course, I mean. That's how we're doing it. We're cleaning right in a bed of mortar. We have mortar on our bed joints, but not in the head joints. Because when we're all done, we're going to fill this with stone. And I want these um, I want these to leach water, so if any water gets in them, we are going to pour caps on top um, and broom it. So that's what it looks like. We're going to do, this course is going to have two up to here, and this course is going to have one, nothing here. Pretty easy way to build stairs, but they're heavy, they're very heavy. That's how we're doing it right there. Got the boys mixing mud. Our blocks are getting low. We got to do a set up front and a set in the back. Probably, a couple times. We've only moved them like three, four times. And the black how much did? 118 pounds a piece. I brought a scale. brought a scale. Just to see how many these are. We will. I thought they were a little heavier than that. We but. will have a total weight of this project yeah. before we are done. We'll give you the well, you won't be able to get an accurate weight of the limestone, though. Uh, we can get pretty close. Figuring out how many yards we're going to need. Yeah. Team lifting right there. That's all done right there. That's <laughs> Why didn't we team lift the 170 blocks we already got, or 160? This would have been a cool one to do stamp on. Do stamp on the treads and that patio up there. Yeah. It would have looked really good. He's a little too bad. Yep. Would have been nice. Let me take a little off. Uh... That dead blow hammer. Look at that. That's a thing of beauty. One more course and we'll be out back. Okay guys, we got our steps built. These are the front ones. Well, they're not built, but the, the blocks are in. That's the front ones. I'll take you out back. I'll show you that real quick. Another beautiful day by the lake. Of course, it's Saturday. And we poured uh, 28 yards of concrete with my buddy Chris. Helped him out, and then we came over, me and Scotty. I laid all these blocks, me, Scotty, and the boys. And we're going to pour caps on there. We're going to parge the sides and everything. I'll show you what that all looks like, but that's how we did it. We laid these all these blocks in three hours. Okay, guys, I'm over here at the quarry. That's what it looks like. Getting some uh, crusher run which is crushed limestone. 
I usually load you right up. But this is this is that limestone quarry. Pretty cool. This is where they make it. There's some uh, number two stone. about three and a half four yards in here today we did a little too much the other day that truck did not like it so I'm gonna fill it not quite as full limestone which is like number one and minus with dust in it that's the stuff I got at the quarry we're gonna fill the cells of the stairs with that the bob kittens kind of teetering a lot of weight up there for the little bob kitten okay guys we are at the stairs again and we are going to parge the face and the sides. So we got the Comproco parge. We just wetted everything down. Basically took a brush with a bucket and threw water on there to get everything wet. Just use those brushes in that water. This is the product that we use for parging. Foundation coat by Comproco. So it's fiberglass reinforced, waterproof coating, cement base for positive side below grade application. 50 pound bags. And this is, has some waterproofing properties in it. So you don't need to tar it if we were doing walls underground, some questions about that. But we're gonna go ahead and parge this. We like to mix it up pretty loose like this it's kind of loose it'll buck up quick we might have to add a little more water but we're going to try to make these look a lot nicer than they do now with some parge we'll do the side this is going to do these faces with his little trowel that's what we're doing here comes the mud guys circle t 
315-963-2231 coming in today. We're gonna pour these steps. I'm gonna fold my mirror in. <laughs> Hold on, bud. Ah, oh, you got it, you got it. Pretty tight quarters in here, guys. This is that big job we did last year. Um, we are pouring these steps, these caps to these steps today. Should be able to pour right in the front here. Chris is cutting some rebar. What's your slump? What's your slump? I don't know. Like probably like a six. But it's uh, got super. It's supposed to have super plasticizer in it, which is gonna make it slippery as it is. Here's our steps, guys. Chris is putting uh, release on the faces of the steps. Putting a uh, liquid release so that when we strip these bad boys, um, they come apart a lot easier. We're gonna have to strip these faces off and rub these stairs out. So that's what we're doing. And we got super plasticizer in the concrete. We're gonna be pouring what looks to be about a six lump but it's gonna be really like a four slump because of the chemical that's in there. And we got three and a half yards today. There's not much to pour here, but a lot of intricate work, but it's not much concrete. So that's what we're doing. We got rebar we're putting in each step. We're gonna put two rebars in. So should be nice. That's how we're doing it. We got, we used uh, plastic wood for these faces. This is like plastic deck boards. It's something I got on a deal, so that's what we're using them for. And there's a slight pitch to these stairs too. A little bit of pitch to them. Let's see what the slump looks like. Yeah, we might have to well, I take, the shoot, this top take the shoot scraper and scrape it. Let's see what she looks like. Okay. There you go. We got a line snapped on there, guys. Hand me that shoot scraper, will you, buddy? We got water coming. Putting some sand and stone. Yeah. Let's go with that water. It's nice and cool up front here. Yeah. Out back, it ain't gonna be so nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's got super plasticizer in it too. So it's gonna be drying a lot. Nicer. Oh, yep. Come pull forward, forward a little. Yep, yep, yep. Separate, man. Yeah. Mix it up a little more. See that sandy shit on there? Alright.
stuck really dark. I don't know why. This one's right in the sun, guys. This is our view. Working on the pond today, but the sun is right there. Right above our heads. Wouldn't surprise me if this one's ready before the front one. Yeah. Being sitting in the sun like this. What's that? It definitely won't be long. No. Okay guys, we are uh, parred in the face of these stairs. Um, there's some ooze out that happens. We vibrate them. It oozes out on, onto the face of the stair right underneath there. So we're, we got some Comproco parred. Stuff right here, foundation coat. Comproco. That's the stuff we're using. It's got fiberglass in it. Just taking a little trowel. We got this product here. We're just putting it on there. Just doing those lower faces right there. And Dustin's cleaning up behind us if we spill anything. But they bailed a temporary railing on here. They're gonna do wrought iron railings, but they uh, had to do this temporary one for now. But we're about done. We're gonna do the back one now. We did the front one. We're gonna head out back, and then we're gonna seal everything with sealer. Clean them off real good and seal them. Can't forget the sides. The brush is right now. The bucket. Super worried about it. 
<laughs> we just sealed these back ones too, guys. That's what they look like. After we parted the faces and all that. Cleaned it all up. They're going to put wrought iron railings on there. I think I already said that, but it'll look a lot nicer. Those are just temporary railings. So this is the back set. I'll show you the front set. Some days. I like that sealer's still drying up front here, guys. That's the house right down to the stairs.